Now, loads of people are using AI to write content at the moment. And obviously it's gonna get more and more like that as time goes on. But is there a way to make your text appear human and pass all these AI detection software, such as Turnitin, which is commonly used in education, Originality, GPT-0, all of these really high level uh, AI detectors. Well, I'm gonna try this new platform that says that it can humanize the content that you create with AI and make it completely undetectable by all of those platforms. So first of all, then I'm in ChatGPT and we're using the newest model, which is 4O, O for Omni, to create ourselves a, a blog post. And I've put, can you write a blog post of around a thousand words on how AI and robotics could improve human lives, uh, use a fun, friendly and journalistic style? Because I think that's the most naturally kind of human sounding content that it can create anyway when you add in a bit of journalistic and friendly and a bit of humor usually it does actually a really good job so here's the article being written now let's just take a little look at the opening sort of paragraph uh, artificial intelligence and robotics are not just buzzwords in tech circles anymore they're rapidly weaving into the fabric of our daily lives from smart home assistants to automated industrial machines these technologies are poised to revolutionize various aspects of human existence I think that's all good. I like that. That's a nice, um, you know, simple, not too wordy and deep and uh, sort of annoying sentence to read. So still going. And we're going to take this article as soon as it's finished and we're going to copy it. There it is. It's done now. Um, we're going to copy it just by pressing copy. And then we're going to go over to this software, Bypass GPT. There's a link underneath this video if you want to give it a try. And what we'll do is we'll paste in that whole article. There it is, like that. It says there's 1,085 words. That's pretty good because I asked for a thousand and, and uh, ChatGPT did a good job there. Then we're going to first of all check for AI. And now this one will use the same systems as all these kind of platforms here, copy leaks, uh, zero GPT, content at scale and so on, to check in one place. You can see there, look, checking the result and it's going through them all. And I would imagine at this point, here we go, uh, it's saying that it's 50% human written, uh, but that is a fail on GPT zero, copy leaks, uh, Crossplag, which is not the best AI detector in the world, is saying that it's all right. Uh, Sapling, Content at Scale, and Writer.com, again, really easy to break those, but not the likes of Originality and turn it in. So what we'll do now is we'll, we'll press this button right here. It's as simple as pressing a button to humanize this text and get it to pass the detectors. And we're going to try them out. So there's no two ways about it. Now you can choose different modes. We've got this mode here, enhanced, creative, or fast. And there's a little description to the right um, that tells you exactly what it's doing there. Now this one here, the enhanced version, is the one that can get you past the best version of originality and turn it in. So we're gonna use that one and then we'll just press humanize and it will take a moment to rewrite that article for you and give it you back so that it can then bypass these AI detectors. So it's checking the grammar and spelling. It doesn't take too long. Then it's going through all of the different systems to see if it can pass them. And then we're gonna paste that content in. There it is, done. So that took like literally a few seconds. Then just underneath, you can see it's just bam, 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 bam. It is now past uh, the AI detectors. So I'm going to copy this, copy this text now. It's added some words actually. It's 1,281 words now versus the 1,085 uh, that I had. I'm um, just to have a quick scan of the article so we can see what it's like. We've got transforming healthcare there. Healthcare is one of these incredibly promising realms for AI and robotics. Picture a world where detecting disease at an early stage is the rule, not the exception. I like that. That was very clear and easy to read. So I've got my uh, copy. Now let's put it through the test then. So this is GPT-0. We've actually got an account right here and I'm gonna paste in that new article there. And then we're going to run this scan. We'll just do like a basic scan, which is just to detect the AI. And then we'll click run and we'll, we'll see how that goes for us. The results will appear down the bottom here. 
and you can see already it's come straight up with human so that's a pass from gpt0 next up we've got copy leaks we'll paste it in there and then we'll we'll scan this one too i'm not sure how long this one takes pretty good it's already at 30 percent so i'll pause the video if i need to and then we'll come back to this in a second. Done. There we go. AI content, 0%, 100% human written. So that is pretty solid there. But let's give it another test. Let's go to originality uh, and try it out there. We'll paste it in again. This time we won't need to check for play, uh, plagiarism because I know that it won't uh, fail that test. But we will use the detect AI and let's go for the advanced turbo 3.0 originality hardcore scan um, and see what that comes up with. So there we go. It's finished 85% original and 15% AI. So that's a definite pass. Now let's try zero GPT and we just press detect text and off it goes. So this, um, there you go, 16% AI. So again, really low, very similar to originality. That's really good. And there's nothing to stop you going in and editing the little parts of the whole article that it views may be um, AI. And if you want to, here, you can just press the retry button on bypass GPT and it will do it again for you, rewrite it all again. And failing that, you can then try some of these other methods like this one, this is like the fast method, and just keep doing it until you get the result that you need uh, to pass the detectors. But we're having no trouble here, as you can see. So now let's try content at scale check for AI content, there we are. And wow, that was really quick and passes as human. So no issues there. So how much does this software actually cost to use? Well, if you're doing it on a monthly basis, you can get an unlimited amount of words for $49 a month. But for just $19 a month, you're gonna get 30,000 words a month, which usually does most people. And even if you don't wanna use it every single month, you can just pay the $19, do the work that you need to do, and then stop the subscription. So there's no issue there. And also you're covered by a three-day money-back guarantee, meaning if you're not happy for any reason with what it's done or how it's done it, you're not getting it to pass AI detection, then they'll also give you a full refund as well. And you can find out more about their refund policy by clicking on the link just there. So a very straightforward, easy to use system where you can just go ahead, paste in your text, and then use it to humanize your text and bypass even the most hardest of uh, AI detection software, such as Turnitin, Originality, and so on. So I hope you liked this software. I hope you liked this quick rundown of it. There's a link underneath this video, like I said, and I'll see you in the next video any second now. <music>